you one final pre-check here, make sure the climate control settings are set, everything looks good. You guys can go ahead and put your foot on the brake, pull up on the drive tab, and then we're going to hit the M for manual mode. And then Fernando, Lewis, and Jacob, you three can start to follow me out. Alright guys, so first track session here this morning, as Chris went over in the classroom. So as Chris went over in the classroom there, I want to make sure that we are focusing just on the driving line here for the most part. Alright, I'll cover every aspect of the track, shift points, car placement, all those different tones. The biggest thing I'll ask you guys is follow me just like tracks in the snow. I want you guys to place your car wherever I place mine. So you can learn the track the easiest way. So, now that we're in the new mode, the car's not going to shift for us. We have to do the shift. So the tiles on our right are our upshift. The tiles on our left are our downshift. For this first track session, you can just get the car into fourth gear and leave it there the whole time. However, when we do the rotations, the car will downshift for you when we slow down there. So you'll just have to swing that back up to a certain gear. But I'll cover the shift points, just third and fourth gear on this race truck. So we can go ahead and start out in third gear. Our track entrance is going to take place after the three tall orange pylons. We're going to stay from the left of that. And we'll be working our way up to the first corner, which is going to be turn number three. So turn three has this four-story tower here. That's going to kind of we correlate some of the corners there with some landmarks to help us learn it. So we have a blue turning cone on the outside. Once we get to that blue turning cone, we're going to turn the car all the way into the inside where the orange apex is. So we're always turning it from the outside to the inside. Once we do that, we can then go ahead and upshift the car to fourth gear. And you're going to notice I'm going to run over these first two curvings. I want you guys to do the same. We will then stay off the near apex curving, this is that white cone with the pink car on it, but the rest of them down the chicane, I want you guys to run over the curving with your tires. That will help keep the car straight. We're going down, there's one curving out to the next. Anytime so we're going around those, we have to steer a little bit more. So this is turn four, or the bowl we call it. We're going to downshift the third gear. We're going to go right up to the middle of the racetrack. Once I'm in the middle, I'll then add another steering input down to the inside. Two straight lines, kind of a tricky corner there. We'll continue to talk about that one. And then right back up to fourth gear, this is the launch pad. Once I start setting back up on the left, beginning to slow down the car. This is turn 5A, this is the double apex corner. So we have two apex cones. After the second one, we're going to unwind the car all the way out to the top. Downshift to third gear as we turn in for 5B. And then unwinding all the way out to the left side. Looking good, Fernando. We'll stay in fourth gear now. Alright, this is turn six. We have another blue turn in cone. Stay back up on the inside of the corner. And then slowing our pace down, downshifting to third gear for seven. And on this front straightaway, by the back straightaway, we're going to go ahead and do our first rotation. So, Fernando, I'm going to have you pull your car all the way over to the right for me. Lewis and Jacob come up to me on the left behind my blue car. Fernando, perfect. You'll tuck in behind the white 89 car. Alright, so now shifting the third gear, this is turn number one. A lot of steering input on this corner. We unwind all the way out to the middle. Hold that steering input. We can line up the cones with the 1A or 1B in turn two. And then we're going to unwind the car all the way out to the right. 
I'm shifting to fourth here. And then that guy did one complete lap around the racetrack. So we'll continue to rotate every single lap, get you guys familiar with how it works. Well, we get floated now, now shifting to third gear. So I want you guys to look for this black patch in third gear. This is the, or turn three, this is the driving line we want to take, work our way into the inside. So if we, we're getting to the curbing before the apex fell, we're going to turn the wheel a little faster to try to straddle that black patch as you guys work your way in. So back to fourth gear, touching the curbing, just staying off this white cone one that we can set up wide enough. Get a good run coming back down the hill. There's no brakes through the chicane here. I just want to maintain my speed, keep the weight in the back of the car. Now I should be a third gear for the bowl. Right up to the middle, head on my left shoulder, looking through the turn, finding the apex cone, turning it back to the inside. Uh, nice shot there, Lewis. Well, I'll shift back to fourth gear. We're going to stay all the way to the right. As this second curbing starts to end, that's where we can slowly start to lift off throttle, step back up on the left. Looks good again, all the way out to the left, loose turn. Alright, fourth here as we wake our way down. Little pink here, so not technically a corner. Staying on throttle, setting up on the right. down to third here. Another black patch here. Can turn the wheel a little slow as we work our way into the apex. We want to have the unwind process start the wheel at every apex. So, looks good, Lewis. We're going to go ahead and rotate again. Lewis, I'll be pulled to the right. Jacob and Fernando come on up to me. And then Lewis, I'm going to have you stop there so we can get the rotation done. And then you'll tuck in behind that red 70. Cool. All right, guys. We'll start to pick it up here again. So you guys ever notice yourself jerking the wheel or adding a lot of steering up to the last second to try to get to the apex cone? We're probably wrapping a little late. So we're going to talk about that visual scanning a lot, getting your eyes up, seeing the whole course before we get there. Eyes are on the brake, slowing you down. Downshift to the third gear. Always want to get the downshift done before the blue turning cone. One less thing to think about coming into the corner. Clear the wheel back to the right to set up on the chicane. Just want to make that straight away longer. That should be in fourth here. Looking good. So it's going to take a couple sessions here to get real comfortable out here on the track. Try to take it all in here on this first session because this will be the slowest session that we do. Might get some references out here and try to learn as much as we can. I wouldn't worry about shifting too much. Just kind of car place the in the corners. Back and forth here over the launch pad. Reason why if we shift on top where that car gets light, where we normally would want to shift there, the car actually can get airborne there and the computer cuts our timing and kills our power coming up the hill there. Just want to get it done a little early. Make sure we're going to spin out all the way to the top just to balance with the brake to help the car turn third gear. Alright, more gear as we come on down. Looking good, guys. to a stop there. Fernando, come on up. Lewis, come on up as well. Lewis, you'll follow the red car on the left. And then Jacob, you'll follow that second red car. Alright guys, on these next three laps, I'm going to pick up the pace just a little bit. I'm going to test you guys some. 
Um, so that's going to afford you guys to use a little bit more brake pressure coming into these corners. Up shifting to fourth here as we unwind the car oh, out. Shit. <laughs> Looking ahead for that braking zone. They're going a little faster now, so I need to get some firmer pressure getting the car slow. Now shifting the third gear. Station here on the unwind. We're getting our eyes up, looking ahead for the next braking zone. So the near apex zone will break all the way down to it. And just maintain that speed about each curve in there before we get there. Because once I clip this curve on the left, but it's a straight line all the way through. Down the third gear. Dead track, there's very light throttle in the middle. We'll turn it back down sharp. The sooner I get it pointed at the cone, the sooner I can accelerate. get my wheels straight and then I'll start slowing down the car. I always want to do my braking in a straight line, balance the seat inside. A little throttle up the hill is going to help push the car out towards the top. Yeah. All right, nice job there, Fernando. Fourth here as we come on down. Very nice job. All right, so we're going to go ahead and slow the pace down a little bit. And then, Fernando, I'm actually going to have you follow me over to the right. We're going to gather up just for a minute. We'll put another rotation. Nice job. So, Fernando, I'll have you stay here for me. You're going to tuck in behind the white 89 car. So, Lewis and Jacob, come on up to me on the left. So you just guys, I know it's hard when we're in the back of the group there and we don't have that lead car to show us kind of where to break and turn in from, but you guys are always searching for those blue turning cones there, so we're trying to set up on the same side. Okay, 
good. Bringing the car back over to the right, starting our braking at this first apex cone down the near apex. And we're transitioning back to the gap. Look and left, now turn it sharp, let's get to the curve, then I can unwind the wheel early before that apex, staying on throttle up the hill. Thank you. 